Wezi kiti nekile saruri guys Kiti nekile saruri Wezi kine Kupalo cheka previous part Dena tuan siki weka Leta lola mina Eza maracha Kupu weke ake rin Khaled Khaza South Africa Eza basing Kwa America There's like this epidemic Of men coming out of the closet And leta nge khaset closet Deya hora nake gay Osi Ke nake cherry I mean, it's their bag. Like, there was a time when women had to deal with men coming out of the closet because, like, they've been gay all their lives or whatever. Now, apparently, they've been girls all their lives. Like, Bonang Kitlin. Kalikasheba, assistant, they are Mr. Beast. That's what happens when a country legalizes Batubadi alphabet. That's what Johnny Tanner Standum Zanzi Naki Hatati Kiluna Giri. Hakimata Nahulonya Alwam. Kubemo Natimo Life Thing. The Hudisaba, not even a teenager. Even Tatanga at Lagadi Kuai Kun Joko Kucharanting. Kirinaya Maraway King. Wanaka Wanganya Wanganyana. Hadi then or rather the Tiki Koski athlete in one event. John Kuai Etango Jarating. More driver in Eki Utrang Narking. Hm? Kilulu. We are a long life thing. Hm? Give her other goes to. Another law, Yamunjun. Another Honala goes to Munjun. No good for the first step and a kiss of cherry cause quite wine. Maradi stays how good for quite wine. It's not necessarily cherry waiting. Hm? Someone like a hot and now is again a chapel face beat the mutating and cherry at the Mosadi. As I begin it about a makeup because in a hagger rabble. Oh, yes, a garabo mutu a ding. Maragia and the Otofikang. Afa Taradi, the eyelashes. Ati like a face beady. When the king beating. Mutu a really falsy steady gun. Kiri Marana, but the Hakisoka Gapara falls, Simo Pilom, Magakir, Lekometric dancing, Hakisoka Gapara falls eyelash. When I don't go to Vitagara, not only Auntie. Juan, Abantu Torna, Garabo, waiting in Libs like a has a brain, Nicky Brenda, Becky no Mara or Booty. When I'll braining. Abare Nakupa only refer a guy preferred pronouns to me nizam. That's what happens. Go a country in a blank nonsense rubbish in. But now, but like I said, we have to force the whole embrace. Let me not be high, but I'm not. But except our ways to grind up, we can't let them. We can't let them make baby bedding. Yeah, yeah, guys, it is. Now, I'm not going to run to the last time. I'm going to talk to a man that is so manish, Jaka Bruce Jen. Oh, manish, he's not going to run and drive on a car. We're just going to have to go to the closet anyway. We're going to hang out. Hang out. I'm not going to be hanging like a car or drop a car. We're going to. Ebe ehu, ebe ehu. Just somehow it will pop out. Ere re it's ugly head. It's getting like Jack in the Box, so guys, it pop out. Don't nagger nya obuti. No who's nagger the sign. No who's nagger the hindi obuti. Juanu kimo uzwile engines. So na kaya kasi kena tapat alon yala motama sa Africa because generational case ena. It's all over Juanu. Kudli. Kudli. Tomorrow go sign no dilas. Rokra assistant ya Mr Beastie le Kidlin Jenara. Ena wa husbands. So I'm leaving. Kaya ang kalon yala man na wa ko Africa somewhere else. Eh uh, guys, I know how to kill. It's literally that basic. Anyway, let's go on right ahead to explain how is skincare. So change the genre. I'm not interested. It is no wonder Mudimu Marana J so mm, kept me single for as long as he did because kifilanga ra some of y'all's husbands dito twa crazy king outside of the box or jaga jenge eh ho a little bit of a guai guai mo drive we in your bold like rocking up go officing go officing mo tatenge ke direct dara ya Telecommunications. Mara ofika a pere rogi. Wangu tla ding rogi e. Abato re. What do you think of my new Prada dress? Oba na holo preza musi sing. Because kwa Gucci or kwa Prada. Runa ra waka ofela rulo disregard da bayo regret shapo e a pere weke mona e. That's what's about to happen to all of y'all. Like some of y'all husbands be rocking up in corporate South Africa. Ba pere kwa kwa muta tengo no muzi ba S G me. The senior manager now. Sally Jumaima. The senior manager. Nyaya ke grande, but lo except wa, and everybody in the office is going to have to just hunker down. I I was thinking I pretend that Nkara there's nothing wrong in the in the room. Hore, project manager raya rona ma bane nelly OC. Juanong gaje kuki out. He turns and nake lo zadi ding in my strength. Hmm, that's what that's what's about to happen in South Africa. You all be rocking up in the office in the morning, and your boss is a chick when yesterday she was a dude, and vice versa. Cause that's what's happening in America. But to that you never would have suspected. Grand shop last year. Oh, Sheila, as I'm going to call my gadget cookie, most say the cherry. Mmm, no, not grand. I'm all good. That's what's good. It's literally about to happen. People coming out of the closet when they were never in the closet. But now there's like all this like darkness in the sky that is making them believe it. But I didn't know principality. The assistant, yeah, Mr. Beast is the best example. The dude was a mocker. Not number mocker, but to buy body binary, but to buy body many pronouns. Oh, never go. Oh, never go. Oh, never go. 
When I leave video by one tower, I was again, I'm an exposure. So, you like one of them, but to make it, I identify as a mokoko. The mokoko my life thing. Mm, like a chicken, I get it. That's what I am. Eh, who's here? Mr. Beastie, what thing in a little more grass as well as I post the size. And then all these years down the line, oh, I'm a little more sorry. Little one, or a little bit cherry, a transition. I cry, the boo boo, who is the mirror? I'm a cute to have a hot jacket, cherry, but I'm a cute to a little hot element. So, now I give a little all of a sudden, I give a cognitive cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. So, the little well, the boss, I mean, nice on some sir, sir. Um, you know, and this is what is the uh monthly report on the sales. And then next month, I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, this is what the monthly report sales are. Ma-ma-ma-ma-sir, ma-ma-ma-ma-sir, ma-ma-ma-ma-sir. Once again, people be twitching at you in these streets trying to respect some pronouns. No, I'm sorry. If that kind of rubbish comes and infiltrates Africa at large, because it's actually from the very bottom of Africa, and again, no, South Africa. Now, give it down to my ear. Hi, give it to the cognitive dissonance. I don't want to be dealing with sir and tomorrow, give ma'am. And I give it to the deal like a husband, but to fit on high eyes, I end the face beating myself for as much as I think, kiss up her limit. Okay, grande guys, I'm okay. This country is about to experience the same nonsense and rubbish that's going on in America right now because of pushing this agenda so hard, not even in the media. It's about to happen. There is this show that I am watching on Netflix called uh, Designated Survivor. I watched season one and two and I was chilling. Season three, rogue. Rogue. I'm like, what in the world happened? First of all, just the violence of profanity, the LGB whatever, alphabet agenda by introducing it. All right? But to bad there's so much like fornication now. More thing. Like, they just throw the F, the S word. Like, I'm like, whoa, just between one, like, season two and three, just between season two, the differences are so stark. The little girl, as well, the daughter of the president, nah, she just throws expletives every so often. And I'm like, I was okay watching Designated Survivor season one and two. Now in season three, I'm twitching and I'm glitching. I don't even know whether to finish it because they have infiltrated this agenda. And my thing is, why would you want to do that to your own country? Why would you want to darken your own, your own land like that? The, the, the show was clean. There were no sex scenes, nothing. Season three, in just the first three episodes, I think there's like, there's like four for such very extremely pornographic scenes and i'm like should i stop watching this because i want to see how it ends but they got me hooked season one and two that was nice and clean and then season three they went rogue they're doing that in the u.s but i forced always again talk about shoving down an agenda down a people's throat that's what's going on and the same thing is going to start happening limes and see usually likely number one so africa is probably going to be the first african country to do this and so one comment to say alphabet community is going to come into this joint and all of y'all's husbands going to be free and come out of the closet and so are all of y'all's wives hence why ula toya machene now is married to a female how's that supposed to make your ex-boyfriend her ex-husband anglandaba if the dude was abusive or what bottom line is the whole entire time that you are married to a person that comes out of the closet you're gonna wonder when that's not even the case it's a principality it is darkness and south africa is ground zero ground zero for that kind of experiment in all of africa i am leaving you have outdone yourself congratulations rara south africa in being evil in comparison to all of africa Liloya, fanduka and you call yourself an industrialized economy everything is falling south africa i was even tempted for throwing it away why would they want to do that Kemaraka is the alphabet community in customs is the Gilego witchcraft community and customs? If bloke he he leja ka hal bloke le kariya ka le everything. So khana ntwe fitla mo mina isam. Jwanom tsanzi ke lo rekwada mo fudu ngenze li busy wa mo fasi. Who looky like every South African? I kisom alone. I do not intend to talk about this. Mara kimo kibwa kanya ona. Le body le who body le like fanduka. How do I tell you one thing? It's an offense. Hal le show kancha bolor di alliance is alnadi go guy. Because kimo le alle alai le le China ra le Russia. Mara li busy ngenze le promal gita woke agenda. Uh, alongside like, in and of yourselves and a cognitive dissonance eh? you are being tossed to and from by every wind of doctrine Khalid mm. and so because Khalid in my life in South Africa you are going to be spat out of the mouth of God because you are neither hot nor cold and because you're lukewarm God is going to spit you of his mouth God is going to spit you out of his mouth. Moving on. my changed skincare routine because I want to make this my final part. I I'm done. I'm done. And now I'm running once and then I get lost the same straw over and over and over again because I cannot chill it. I'm running. Mm-hmm. We're done. Mm-hmm. 
Hello, hi, I'm Matt. Get changed your skincare, guys. All right, everything else is the same. So I'm more chipping along my previous past to gauge your bearings. Hold a river right in my life, thing. I guarantee. Mm. There's only one thing that changed. I got acne. Mild, but it was there. And I was like, this is rubbish and I don't want new acne. Benzoyl peroxide, I'm not going back to it. I was tempted to buy it, but then I rather made a different purchase and it's worked for me. So incorporate that, okay? Okay, regular moisturizer anyway. It's Nang Mahura. I bought another moisturizer that doesn't have oil. I need to speak English this time around because my message is no longer for these lackluster South Africans. Okay? Uh, I'm now speaking to everybody else that's been listening up to me up until this point, And I do apologize if you didn't understand anything I said. Uh, I, I do really apologize. Mm, mm. But I'm glad you stuck around because whatever language I was speaking sounded intriguing enough for you to stick around. It sounded like music, even though you couldn't understand. Listen, I changed out my moisturizer on my face to a new one that I bought. And it made all the difference. I also took out the the, the nice acid antifungal treatment because there was no longer a need to be trying to treat fungal acne when I am not clobbering my face with oils anymore so that left so all that's left now is the benzoyl not benzoyl peroxide sorry but the antibacterial which is Bactroban right I bought a moisturizer I went to Chinatown literally I made a decision on Thursday that you know what I'm gonna try Friday sorry I'm going to try or buy bestest as much as I possibly can do my mightiest to acquire a product sorry to to come up with to not go back to benzoyl peroxide I don't want to go back to it because it's Ishmael and I am Sarah I'm supposed to be giving birth to um, Isaac I made mention of that the other day and it worked all right and it's, it's I've been on it now for two days and the acne that rocked up has simmered down and I haven't gotten new acne so mm, I guess oils aren't really that good for me as much as they make my skin pop and low they also break me out so uh, yeah, I, I feel like trash for having broken out because now I have to deal with that um, Tyro is an A's issue on the side. It's not that bad. You probably are not gonna see it that much But I had broken out. Okay, uh, but now it's simmering down uh, the moisturizer that I purchased is um, <laughs> Some college and gangster I went to like I like frequented that Chinatown walked up and down up and down it until I finally find this moisturizer It cost 65 rands 65 mega rands and the ingredients in here are excellent And I've used it so far for two days and my acne has gone down the results of the ingredients in here I can't really say I'm seeing them pop in my face maybe they are uh, but the interaction with the niacinamide in here with the retinol especially the retinol that I use in the evenings is just like a boss lady and um, the interaction with it during the day with the vitamin C I think it's I just see it looks like vitamin C looks re like it works really well it's uh, it's a it's a darling in the mornings okay uh, so I don't know if it is the interaction of vitamin C with the niacinamide that um, like I don't see much of a difference but I definitely see an extra pop and a glow after applying the retinol in the morning and when I wake up I'm, I'm really looking fresh in so these are the ingredients Oh, goodness gracious, guys. Yes, this thing with the phone. This thing with my phone falling. Like, I promise you. I Like, I promise you. I don't know what in the world to do. I, I can see. I have to wait. I have to wait. I cannot choose. So, uh, there's no other option here that I am dealing with. I gotta wait. I just gotta wait. Okay. Until my camera gets here, however long it would take for it to get here. If it gets here. Like, seriously speaking, I don't want to have to give up. But moving on. Let me read you the ingredients. Maybe it's because I keep touching the table. I don't know. But my phone just keeps falling. Let me read you the ingredients uh, on here. It, it's a moisturizer. All right. I'll tell you what my steps are in the middle. It's water, glycerin, mineral oil, ethyl, eth ethyl, hexyl, palmonate, whatever, propylene glycol. Mineral oil, ethyl, whatever, and propylene glycol is probably what people complain should not be in skincare and why it, products are so cheap. But I have made mention of the fact that I don't have the luxury to be buying things for ridiculous prices, if you know what I mean. So we just take it in our stride because at the end of the day, it's working for my skin and uh, you can't deny that it's popping. That is pretty much an obviousness, a glaring obviousness. You know what, guys? I really hope that the rapture happens like i don't like i feel like there's nowhere to go i literally feel like there is absolutely nowhere to go i don't know if you catch or you know are rolling with that drift like there's nowhere to run 
West Africa is the most rotten country, frankly, I think, in all of Africa, right? But the rest of Africa suffers violently from witchcraft addiction. Like, that's a thing. Corruption is a thing in Africa. So if the West is absolutely, there's n like, that is not an option. It's so evil there that it's not an option for anybody to go there, if at all they're Christian, to survive. There's, there's, there's no going to America. There is no going anywhere in Europe. There's no going to Australia because those countries are incredibly rebellious against God. So if Africa is the last continent that is left where especially the alphabet agenda is rejected but they've got so many other problems that are worthy of christians basically avoiding the continent altogether because there's no way to run the rapture looks like the only way out you know it's like there might be an anti -al like alphabet agenda in africa and that the, the last preserved continent on the earth that is still about that business maybe asia too nah parts of asia are capitulating like you know i made mention of uh, india having in 2018 decriminalized the the, the deeds right um the middle east the middle east okay so the middle east is heavy against human rights especially against children and women it's like a real problem in the middle east you know like child marriage and whatnot is a thing the middle east is an issue just because of other it's like where it is that the alphabet agenda has not polluted the sky the air has not go, gone all brown and green because of the alphabet agenda there are so many other issues that they, like it's not livable anywhere africa might be kind of good about the alphabet agenda in the sight of god but they've got all these other issues all these other issues yes like it like it's like there's nowhere to go there's nowhere to go so what is the only way out guys Rebcha. we gotta go home so like africa would be a feasible place for people to run to if only it wasn't so evil in so many other respects but how now like i see one because of corruption infrastructure has fallen apart because of corruption there's no people are not prepared to lose their seats as kings and queens even though they have not on like earned their place voting is lost largely ignored in Africa it's like you vote for one guy next thing the dude wahale stays in power because he doesn't want to be uprooted so there's no thriving democracy in Africa <laughs> there are so many other issues human rights are also largely disregarded disrespected there's a lot of violence against women in Africa like guys where do we go other than heaven at this point there is literally nowhere to go even if Africa is still relatively sober when it comes to LGBT whatever there's nowhere to go I feel as if the rapture is the only way out but anyway let me just keep reading these ingredients explain to you my skincare and let this be my final part uh, water glycerin mineral oil blah 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 and then propylene glycol methyl gluther whatever iso 20 cetyl roll alcohol whatever dimethicone glycerol stearate by whatever parky shea butter oil and then niacinamide uh sodium acrolatinda colipoma whatever i bet you know what that is more or less okay uh hydro hydrolyzed collagen sodium hyaluronate uh, xanthan gum, methyl paraben, glycerin, uh, goodness, gold free and then fragrance. All right, so this has 24k gold in it as well. I've explained to you. So I gun, I took this because of the niacinamide, the hyaluronic acid, the collagen, and the 24k gold. Um, it's relatively matte, like it leaves my face kind of matte looking after I apply it. It doesn't have an oily consistency about it. So yeah, I've been on it for like two days now, and my acne has gone down significantly so it turns out that the comedogenic nature of my body moisturizer was wreaking havoc in my skin causing acne and so i changed it out for this and it also has collagen so praise the lord amen we're probably going to see the results of this stuff maybe two three four five weeks down the line maybe a month too i don't know but as long as i'm not breaking out i'm cool in terms of the things that the actives in here do we'll see in due season like i said uh when this works absolutely wonderfully with the retinol that i use in the evenings and the vitamin c in the afternoon i feel like it looks exactly the same as it's been looking all along but my greatest pop in my glow is at night so i don't really know like i can't bring retinol during the day type thing but it works really well with the retinol and i think it's because of the niacinamide uh, in here okay i did research whether or not niacinamide can be mixed with vitamin c or with retinol and apparently allegedly we can uh benzoyl peroxide on the other hand does not work with anything uh you know it, it has issues rather with many products so that's why i wanted to take it out of my skincare routine so in terms of what i do in total let's like do a recap i wash my face with the um what do you call this the garnier skin active uh, face wash that i showed you uh and then i go in in the mornings i go in with hyaluronic acid and then with vitamin c and then i put my aloe a leaf and then i put the um 
cell tone snail gel and then moisturize with this and then dab onto my skin a pea-sized amount of Bactroban. That's the mornings. Uh, the Bactroban is to try and circumvent any new acne on my face in the evenings. The same process but instead of vitamin C it's retinol. Yeah and I've done that for the past few days and this is how I look. I know you guys are probably like there's no difference Karabo, but I did get like a few acne bumps here and they're gone. I hope I don't have to do an updated skincare routine. Next time I rock up, I'm probably going to be ranting. I might even expand on the ranting that I did today because I've been wanting to do a video where I'm sharing all of my qualms with what's happening across the world. But I've been waiting to finish uploading this series. That's how many parts long, I don't know. Before I can do that, I don't want to exasperate myself with just excess amounts of work. So yeah, guys, I hope you've been edified in the name of Jesus. Please repent, okay? I feel as if though the rapture is happening. I've been disillusioned. And never mind disillusionment, but doubtful uh, of the rapture because, you know, I don't want to lean on the rapture because I don't want to get disappointed type thing. But given that there's literally nowhere for Christians to run and actually successfully live out a thriving life where they can raise children who are not going to be indoctrinated by wicked agendas in public schools, I feel like there's no way to run for that. I literally feel like there's no way to run. Like, you move from the US, you come to Africa, you deal first of all with governmental corruption and lack of resources across the board, and the fact that somebody might just teach your child witchcraft on the school playground. Uh, but if you go to the West, you're gonna have your child coming out of the closet even though your kid never ever had any such gender dysphoria. So, this literally, it looks like there's nowhere to go. But hey, let time tell. Perhaps some countries might repent, maybe Africa might repent, and if Africa repents, it becomes the new go to place for safety, new safe haven for. Christians guys if there is nowhere for Christians to run and find safety the world is over that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys and right now it looks like there is nowhere for us to live out thriving successful the Bible says that if possible live at peace with everyone if we can't possibly live at peace with the whole planet it's over that's the rapture I'm signing out in Christ's name Quen K bye